and welcome back to the two amigos in American Sign Language. It would be A M I G O S. See what you learn on this show? Incredible. Anyway, Vito and Guido Vino, and it is that time, folks. It is time for emails from around the globe. Email, please. Thank you very much. Now, this one is from this one is from Carter Pettit in Graham, Texas. Dear two amigos, I like wine, but I get a terrible headache when I drink it. My doctor says I'm probably allergic to the sulfites. What do you suggest? Carter, I would strongly suggest you find yourself another doctor. Yours is full of crap. Ah, you know, this whole business started when we had to start putting government warnings on our labels. Really nifty information like telling you that maybe you shouldn't drink alcohol when operating heavy equipment. Duh! The only person I've ever seen do that is my brother here. Stupid, obvious stuff like that. And after that, when they got that one passed, somebody else in the government thought it'd be a real swell idea to add the phrase, contains sulfites. People went nuts. It scared the hell out of them. Oh my God, I drank some sulfites and I got a headache the next day. I must be allergic to sulfites. Carter, the headache that you got was not from sulfites. You just drank too much wine. Too much alcohol. You know how I know this? Let me tell you something. The human body produces more than a gram of sulfites every single day. Your body, my body, even his body. There is more sulfite in a hostess Twinkie or a can of soda pop than in an entire bottle of wine. So Carver Pet, this ain't the sulfites. You just drank too much. We put a little sulfite in it to preserve the wine. That's all. It's a little bit. Now, we're probably going to get cards and letters from this little video blog. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I'll tell you something, folks. Bring them on, huh? Talk to me. Talk to my brother. In fact, let's hear from Carter's teetotaling goody two-shoes doctor. Bring it on, doc. Hey, remember what the good doctor who discovered penicillin? That was Alexander Fleming, in case you didn't know that, doc. Once said, if penicillin can cure those who are ill, good wine can bring the dead back to life. So try that one on for size, Doc. You got anything to add to this? No! Oh, that's good. Nicely said. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go soak the back of this label off of this wonderful Two Amigos Vino Bianco with the government warning on the back so we can enjoy this bottle of wine in peace. Capiche? Bingo. Here you go. Here's to you, Doc. How's your sulfite headache? Oh, God, that's good. Oh, God, that's good. Who made that? Oh, I did. Ah! 